everyone, Werewitch here with Harry, who has promised to keep his comments to a minimum for these quick tip videos. Uh, what did I promise to? Let's get straight to the tips. Okay, so here's the first thing. I know you're frustrated. If you're already watching this, you're looking for help. I want you to know that you've got this. You can do this. In V Rising, the boss fights test your understanding of the game and how well you can apply this knowledge to the fight. The following checklist will add as much weight with your gained know-how to tip the scales in your favor. What one method used for beating a V-Blood may have worked great, may not work for another. It's a matter of finding out what you're missing. Let's go over the checklist together. Do you have the highest possible blood percentage available to you? Does it synergize with your gear or spell loadout? Should it even synergize? Or do you need to go with the more balanced approach? Are you using any crafted or merchant bot potions, any enchanted brew, potion of ferocity, or the best healing potion available? Have you beat all the bosses previous to this one? Have you tried taking out another boss level adjacent, or even a higher boss that you can beat that might unlock a component to make better gear? Have you attempted the fight during a blood moon to gain a little extra damage? Or have you encountered the fight during the day when you should have fought it at night? Are you using the environment to your advantage? And I do mean everything. Is there a boulder, a rock, a nearby monster, a tree, a pack of nearby wolves that could distract a wandering boss for you to get a couple more hits in? Have you tried a different spell loadout, a different weapon or armor? The time you take now to learn other skills will pay dividends at a later boss fight, or all of them. Can you unlock gear or item recipes on your research, study, or Athenaeum? You can also buy missing recipes for merchants as well. Okay, one last thing. Repetition is key. Keep trying. You may pick up on mechanics that I or someone else might miss. If you keep trying and learn something, anything from your attempts, then you aren't failing. You're just learning where to place the knife. Do not give up. We believe in you. Yeah, if which can do it, you definitely can. So that's the checklist. Let's look at the fight. Okay, we are currently over at Solaris. We are at 88 gear level. We are trying out today the Dreadplate Chest Guard. And we have on Dracula's Dread Gloves, as you wouldn't be able to have the other pieces because they technically wouldn't be beaten yet. All right, we are using the Endbringers. You should be able to have access to these by that time. If not, um, any level 30 Ancestral um, will be fine for this fight. Uh, we are using the Amulet of the Wicked Prophet. And uh, let's see here, our buffs. Vampiric Brew, Holy Resistance, Potion of Rage, and Witch Potion. For our spell lay, uh, loadout, we are using Pandemonious Stone for Veil of Chaos. We are using the Glowing Moonstone for Spectral Wolf. It's a nice heal on this one. And then we're gonna be trying out the uh, Phantom Aegis. I believe that in combination with this, uh, with these Dread Plates um, uh, gear should be should be nice, should uh, work well together. 100% Scholar Blood on this one. Um, and uh, of course, uh, my, my favorite, uh, Crimson Beam. I will strike them oh, down no, right off the bat. Before you blood Start sucker. moving around. This is Luminance! Do your best to dodge what you can here. If you're towards the sides back here, I think that would be a little bit easier. Your end is to dodge, that is. Okay. Prepare to 
bad. close one that was a very close one did I have not tried out the dread plate before I don't know how I feel about it I think it did just fine um, a lot of, uh, the reason why that fight was going so far south is because I'm not a great player um, but once again if I can do it you can do it uh, better movement there might have helped me out more maybe the shadow moon would have been better gear to wear there um, I really like uh, Phantom Aegis. I think it does a great job. Um, I probably should have popped it more often. I, I can get my brain can get sidetracked in these fights, and it <laughs> doesn't benefit me at all. And I probably needed to watch my health a little bit closer and making sure that I'm getting those spectral, spectral wolves out as often as possible. And I probably should have potted more. I believe I came in here with 30. I don't know. You'd have to rewind it. Um, uh, but I believe that was a 30 stack. So I only used four pots. And what have I said before in the other boss videos? Heal early. Heal often. Heal as much as you possibly can without it, like, you know, killing you. Uh, which I have done before, too, in certain fights. So anyway, um, hopefully this helped you to see... Uh, order of events, order of priority. You want to get that angel down when she bubbles. You want to switch back to him. You can clearly see when there's a bubble on which one. Uh, despite the fact that I failed to attack who I was supposed to attack at a couple spots in those uh, in that fight. Uh, hope this helped. See you later. Okay, so that was it, guys. If this helped you out, slap that like button, subscribe, or just leave us a comment below. Harry and I will get back with you as soon as we're available. We have lots of content with tips like these peppered in, and more videos like this one for the games we play here at the project. We love having your company. 
which doesn't have very many friends, and its current group is less than desirable. That would include you too, Harry. <sighs> Thanks for watching. See you later.